What is going on everybody? I'm out here and I wanted to give you guys a quick shop tour of the current state of my garage. My shop is in my third car garage because changes are potentially coming down the road pretty soon. So hang on tight. We'll walk through the machinery that I've got, the setup that I have, and just to give you guys some ideas of what you can do in a small space. All right, so to start off, I'm just gonna do a quick 360 spin so you can just see everything that I do is out of my third car garage. So you can see right here, we're spinning around. More equipment, more equipment, equipment, storage, and then there's the other side of the garage. So there we go. So now let's start walking through the things that I've got, what's going on in here. Um, so we've got CNC. This is the Onefinity Elite Foreman that has the Masso controller. So honestly, I have not had this thing for very long, but it's a beast. Um, I'm loving it so far. It, it has taken care of everything that I've needed so far. Um, I don't, don't do tons of intricate stuff. I do a lot of cutouts and backers and different things for the other stuff that I'm doing on my lasers, mainly. Um, I do have a couple of products in mind that will be some of the other stuff that I'll do, but Masso CNC, uh, or the Onefinity CNC with the Masso controller, Elite, it's the 48 by 48. It also has the uh, quick change uh, bed, so the stand that it sits on. So that's all there. Coming this way. And I've got my compressor that's hooked up to my 100 watt OM Tech laser. So the 100 watt OM Tech laser, I've had this one, I think about three years now, or at least coming up pretty close on three years. And it's a workhorse. I use it to cut all of the blanks that I do for some of the wholesale accounts that I have. Um, I do it, use it for a lot of my sign work. Uh, even right now, Christmas coming up, you can see I've got ornaments sitting out here and you know all kinds of stuff engraving and you know a lot of my products and things that I do you know stuff that I do for my customers runs through this machine some part of it um so yeah 100 watt co2 it's got the 24 so 24 deep by 40 inches wide bed and that might be changing soon um there's some new machines coming out and we might, there might be something else that's going to replace this, and that one might have to go. Um, then, stepping over here, we've got the OM Tech 100 watt fiber. And by means, this is how my shop is. I clean up after myself as I go around, but stuff gets left out. Like, I'm working on things, like, I'm not cleaning up my shop for you guys. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so 100 watt fiber right here. This is an OM Tech machine as well. It's a MOPA. So it has a much wider frequency range than other fibers. Um, this one, I believe it goes from one to 4,000 Hertz. Um, you got a big range there and do lots of things. Uh, the reason that you would want to get a MOPA usually is to unlock more range of colors and being able to change your pulse width, lots of things, but 100 watt fiber. And then I've also got a new, this is newer. I've had it for, I think two months. It is a 60 watt CO2 Galvo. So CO2, this is a CO2 with a Galvo head. So the idea is it's using the same CO2 power, but it is coming across the Galvo head. So smaller platform, much faster. So Galvo, Galvo. So fiber, CO2. Um, I've been doing a lot of my ornaments and small things on this, like, for instance, here is a coaster that I made, and that thing took like 15 seconds. It, it runs really quick, really fast. So, CO2 Galvo. Coming over here, bandsaw, yeah, I don't use it that much. Um, and right now, it's a shelf because I just got this stuff from JDS. Um, but this is my OG 60-watt OM Tech machine. And it's actually around the time that it was Prenex OM Tech. Like, this is the uh, beginning of an era. So 60 watt mainly does tumblers and it's set up pretty much always to have tumblers going. But now that I got this CO2 Galvo, it can do a lot of tumblers and do it really fast. 
So that is much more key to my shop now. Um, this guy will probably always stick around. Um, I have a bond to it and I don't really want to get rid of it. So it's kind of hard to, to pass on that. Um, and it's also nicer because it has, it's a little bit smaller. So if I need it as a backup machine, it's still here, especially if I have to get like, if I get a bigger machine, maybe. Um, but yeah, so 60 watt CO2 Galvo, similar to the 100 watt, obviously just smaller bed. It's a 20 by 28 and it is a 60 watt machine. Recently, I used to have like a storage shelf that was all sitting right here. I took everything that was on that shelf, got it off the ground, and now I put in these shelves that are all hung on the wall. Uh, it makes it really nice. So a lot of the stuff, so tumblers, tumblers, this is leatherette stuff. These are hats over here. And then miscellaneous stuff like odds and ends, things that I'm testing, you know, other products that I'm wanting to offer. Um, and obviously these are more tumblers that need to go up there in some of these gaps. Um, just need to put them away. Um, and then as I step this way, this is sheet goods. So I bought one of these shelves and it's perfect because it's longer. And so I cut all of my sheet goods into a 24 by 48 inch sheet. Um, this is Unisub. So this stuff already comes in 24 by 48, but I like to have everything flat. So that way it all stays flat. And so when I put it in the laser, it's much easier to work with. So all this stuff's flat. So Unisub, this is single-sided, double-sided, this is into our plywood stuff. So a lot of things that I'm using for ornaments, um, a little bit thicker stuff, and then even into some of our thicker plywoods down here. Um, down below is more tools. So that's just kind of like out of, my, out of sight, out of mind. Uh, all my shipping stuff. So stuff that I use for shipping is up here. And then I've got my toolbox. Right now it's got sheet goods in front of it because I just pulled that off the CNC yesterday and haven't put it away yet because some of this stuff is actually also sitting over here. This is stuff that hasn't been broken down. It's still in like basically a full sheet. So that's like the full spin of what's going on. I've also got some lumber. I don't use as much of this anymore um, because my, my products have just changed over time. It's been way more laser focused, but this stuff, if I decide I want to use it, it's there. And it's been well dried. Um, oh, I did miss something. Acrylics. So I do, I get big sheets of acrylic as well because I use a lot of white and a lot of clear. And so I've got those sitting here. Um, I do have some smaller sheets that are all different kinds of colors and stuff that I use all the time. Like that stuff replenishes this right here. So all of that right there is other acrylics that I use for um, trinkety things like keychains and uh name like business name logos like stuff like that small out of acrylic but that right now is what's going on in my shop so oh and i have a tv because uh, i if i'm sitting out here i like to babysit my machines and it's nice to have something to watch so um i also have an xbox don't I have an xbox so I, i'll play video games too if i'm out here and i'm just waiting for long jobs to run so that's my that's my setup right now it will likely change in the near future. And so I wanted to run around and give you guys a look and see what it is that I'm working with so you can maybe have a better idea of how you can set up in your small garage or small shop and how to organize things so that way you can maximize your space. Um, I've changed this setup multiple times. Um, some of my older videos, I had a long workbench it went all the way across here. I had a miter saw that was sitting right here in front of the window. My uh, 60 watt, the yellow machine used to slide under a bench over here. It's like I've changed things over and over again as my business evolves and as my, uh, my niche or even my products narrow down to something that I'm doing more consistently. I, my miter saw, it's put away in storage. It's out in a shed. Um, I don't use it that often anymore. I use my track saw much, much more. So obviously as your business changes and your product line changes, focus more on the machines that are doing work. Like this guy sits front and center because it works all the time. And so I needed more space for it than I needed for a miter saw. So I took that whole workbench out. I put more outlets along the back here so I could put more lasers out this way. So that's my setup. 
Hopefully it helps you. If this video was helpful, if the content is helpful, please like, subscribe, and as always, we will see you on the next one.